residents and businesses of the former Loring Air Force Base was or could soon be without firefighting services. Corey Bouchard spoke with Limestone Selectman to learn more about what is causing the possible disruption of services. And like I said, the clock is ticking. On the 31st, we will shut down service. Randy Brooker and Chris Tarepa are the chairman and assistant chairman for the Limestone Board of Selectmen. They're talking about the town of Limestone ceasing firefighting services to properties on the former Loring Air Force Base. According to documents, the Loring Development Association has failed to pay for emergency services for the past eight years, racking up a bill of around $1.24 million. There's mechanisms in place for the LDA to be able to pay for these services. Um, but, but they're not being used properly. Derepa, who is also a firefighter with the Limestone Fire Department, says they're called out to Loring quite often to provide services. It's common a few times a month for us to go to Job Corps. Um, we've had several structure fires over the past five, 10 years here at this location. Uh, one of the first buildings, we've had a uh, room and contents fire. We've had this large fire here. Um, you know, so there's absolutely is calls of service, accident calls. The LDA was formed by an act of the Maine legislature in 1993 to maintain the properties of the Loring Air Force Base and oversee its redevelopment. Brockett thinks that so far, that's not been done. Loring's been closed since 1994. It's been closed for 29 years. And in tw the past 29 years, we have actually, in my definition, is we have actually gone backwards. Durepper says many of the now vacant homes along Mansell Road have significant structural damages that aren't only an eyesore, they're a hazard. We've got volunteers, you know, the volunteers have families. We need to make sure that those volunteers can go home at the end of the night. And if we've got a child inside of one of these dangerous buildings, uh, they're, you know, the likelihood of a fireman dying in a vacant building is the highest way to die. One thing both Brooker and Durepo add is that the LDA should pay their fair share for services. The base is a third of the size of limestone. So actually they are a third of the bill is what it should be. And that's where we come up with these numbers. And that's where we're at right now. So we're, we're, we're trying to get LDA to the bargaining table so that we can come up with a solution. We've got some key businesses, DFAST, Job Corps. Those are big employers. And by no means do we want to shut down fire services because it's going to create way more problem than it's going to solve. We reached out to the LDA. President and CEO Carl Flora responded with the following, quote, we are in the middle of negotiations with the town. Anything I might say publicly could jeopardize the discussions. I think we are close to a resolution.